Hi, I'm Karen. I'm going to be showing you how to make a baby soul cell. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how we're going to put together this baby soul cell. Okay, these are going to be uh, two glass slides. Then in between these glass slides, we're going to have some titanium dioxide. And the symbol for that is TiO2. Then we're going to mush up some berries. So the next layer is going to be some berries. The next layer after that is going to be some iodine. And finally, we're going to have uh, some graphite from a pencil. I can just get that on. Uh, okay, so that's, that's how we're going to put the solar cell together. Now, when the light shines on this, so let's draw. Um, a sun. Now, the berries in the middle there, they're actually going to absorb this light. And when, when, the, when the berries absorb this light, this is going to produce a flow of electrons across the solar cell. So, you may know that electricity is actually just a flow of electrons. So, if we've got a flow of electrons, if we um, connect this up to another circuit, then we're going to get um, electricity generated. Okay, so now I've got my uh, goggles on, which is very important. Um, I'm now going to just see which side of this glass um, is conducting, because on one, one side of this glass there's a conducting film, um, and on the other side there's not, so we want to find which side we want to use. So that beep tells us that this is the conducting side, so this is where I want to put my titanium dioxide. Okay, so what I've got here, um, it's just a little bit of water um, in a mortar, I believe. Um, and I'm just going to pour a little bit of titanium dioxide in it. Okay, I'm just going to make a paste out of this. So now I want to put this on my glass slide. Okay, so I'm going to put this on to my glass slide. Okay, so this is what our glass slide looks like now. Um, so now we need to put this um, into a furnace um, at about 150 degrees uh, to dry it out, and that's going to take about four hours. Okay, so hit the glass furnace. I'm going to put this in for four hours. But fortunately, in uh, true Blue Peter style, here's one I made earlier, or yesterday actually. Okay, so I'm now going to mush up some berries to get the berry juice out of them. So I'm going to grind this using pestle and mortar. So this bit is obviously the best bit. now looks like a horrible mush so we're going to take some of that juice and put it on, on top of the titanium dioxide film okay so I'm just going to smear this across There's obviously lots of um, seeds in here, but we're going to try and rinse some of these off. Okay. So 
So I've just got some ethanol here. So uh, I'm just going to rinse off the excess uh, of this into here. In fact, I might need to knock some of it off. <laughs> There's plenty of uh, seeds and hairs in there. Okay, so most of that's actually come off, but you can see that it's, it's actually changed the colour of the, uh, the white titanium dioxide to a purpley colour. So if we look back um, at our board, where um, we've shown what we're doing, we've, uh, we've now got this glass slide, we've got our titanium dioxide, and we've got our berry juice. So now we've just got the other half of this to make. Okay, so we're now going to put a drop of this iodine solution on top of our film of TiO2 and berries. Okay, should be enough. So now what I want to do is use this new piece um, of glass to put our layer of graphite on, which we're going to get from a pencil. So I just need to check that this is the conducting side. Okay, so um, the beep tells us that that is the conducting side of the glass. Now, what we want to do is just draw on it with the pencil to get a layer of graphite, which I may be able to do. Okay, so when you think you've got enough of that, we can then put our entire solar cell together. Okay, so now we need to put our whole solar cell together. So we're just going to put these two pieces of glass like this, and I'm just going to clamp them together using crocodile clip like this and then we're going to use these two ends that we left blank so now we attach this up um, to a voltmeter okay so we've now um, we've got this clamped together using this crocodile clip and we've now got this connected up um, and this is now displaying um, the millivolts um, across this so um, but we're obviously going to get some millivolts at the moment because we're in a room with some lights on but we're going to just see if this improves when we put um, some light from a torch onto it and if it does then this proves that the, uh, that the solar cell is working so I'm just going to turn this light on so if we watch the number on this screen so at the moment it's about 7 millivolts now Hopefully, yeah, when I put this uh, bright light on it, which is obviously supposed to represent the sun, uh, this number starts going much higher. Now, hopefully, if I take it away, it may take a, a few seconds to respond, but it should start going down again, and I'm just covering it um, to stop some light going on it. And you can see now that the number is coming down again, that it's taken a while to get back to where it was originally. And then if I uh, take my hand away and put it back on, the number goes up again. And again, if I take my hand away and cover it up so that there's not much light getting to it, the number starts coming down again. Okay, so going back to our original diagram, we've now created this entire solar cell. Um, so we've got the berries absorbing the sunlight, and we've got this flow of electrons um, across from uh, between the two glass slides, and that's what we've just been looking at. Hopefully you've seen that we can actually make solar cells out of very cheap materials, such as berries and titanium dioxide, 